Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. For those of you who are regulars here, you'll be familiar with our dog Izzy. Izzy is, I think she's a year and a half old now. She's a border collie, purebred, and she's been developing a real unnatural fear of going out for a walk or basically doing anything out of the yard. So today I'm starting her therapy, which is walking her on a lead. She would just run right back home as soon as we got to the beginning of this road, or actually anywhere, leaving the yard. She'll just stop and head back home. So now she's got to go on walks on a lead. And she's doing a pretty good job of it. All right, honey pup, right here, honey. Good girl. He's such a good girl. See, nothing to be afraid of down here. Nope, nothing back there either. Okay, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. You're hooked up. Okay, now you can go. Let's go. Well, she used to love when I threw a stick for her, but she seems to be just fine on a lead like this. Kind of silly to be on a lead when you're out in the middle of the woods like this, but if that's what it takes to get her on a walk, I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. Yeah, very surprising. She's not pulling or anything like that. She's just walking at the end of her lead. Very odd. Okay, I guess this is the new routine until she gets over her fears, if she ever gets over her fears. She has a lot of different fears and she's basically always had them. The first time I noticed it was when we were we were checking after a snowstorm, we were checking the neighbor's shed there and some snow fell off the shed and made a loud bang and she just disappeared i was looking all over for her and she she ran home and she was hiding in the greenhouse she's just a very fearful girl i think she feels protected this way so i guess it is what it is If you know more about this subject, make sure you uh, put a comment below and let me know your experiences. If, like, if your dog got over her fears or whatever, I kind of like to know if this goes away after time. I'm wondering if I should, like, take her to the end of the road and then take her off lead on the way back work my way up to that it's kind of interesting she's kind of tugging at the lead right now because I, this is the part that's scariest for her and i think she wants to run home so i just got to make sure she uh deals with this fear you just calm down honey it's okay Hi, sweetheart. Hi, my big girl. You're so brave. Yeah, this is the part right here where it turns around the corner like an S shape and goes down into the woods. Most of the time she won't go past the top of the hill. Lately, she hasn't gone past the end of the road, which is way up that way. She's just getting more and more fearful. 
and uh, sometimes she won't even leave the house to go potty. She'll go potty on the floor. She's so afraid of going outside. There have been cougar sightings in the area. I really don't think that has anything to do with it, but it's possible. Yeah, I don't want to take her off lead until we get at least to the end of the road. Yeah, you could see right there, she heard something and it startled her. I have to do something about that harness. Okay, wait. That's my good girl. You are such a good puppy. Oh, geez. Camera, honey. Don't bump the camera. You'll break YouTube. All right, as long as we're on the subject of animals, I'm gonna give you an update on all of our ducks. Another thing that Miss Izzy is afraid of is the last time we took a truck ride, I had her window open and she heard a sound from outside. I'm not sure what it was, maybe a bird or something. And she jumped in the back seat and sat right here, right behind me, you know, and kind of looking over my shoulder. She did that the rest of the trip. So far, so good. She's okay. Put her window down a little bit. Normally, yeah, that's what she would do. She would either stick her head out completely or sniff once in a while. But on that trip, she hid in the back seat the rest of the trip. So I'm hoping she's all right. If she doesn't go hide in the back seat, I'll leave the window open, but... Yeah, a lot of weirdness going on with this little dog. She appears to be doing just fine. Not hiding or anything. She just had her head completely out the window. I don't know if you caught that or not. Hopefully she gets over her fearfulness. Here she goes. Like a normal dog. Okay, we got all the pets here. Well, not all the pets, but that's my outdoor cat, Maisie, in case you're new to the channel. And this is her recent behavior. She wants you to throw or kick the ball, but she doesn't want it to go far. It's okay. Whoops, that was a bad kick. It's okay if it goes over the hill, but it used to be that she wanted you to kick it and try to get it all the way down to the bottom. Now, if you do that, uh, my nephew did it when he was here. She went and got the ball and then she wouldn't give it to him. She didn't want him to do that again. So she's basically anywhere where there's, where she's not surrounded by trees, she's comfortable. But if she gets surrounded by trees, she's just freaked out. And I don't know what the heck is causing that, but it is a thing. Come on, you want me to kick it? Bring it. All right, yes, this cat, I can only pet her outside. Once she gets in the house, she wants nothing to do with me. But when we're outside, she will follow me around and want me to pet her the entire time. She's just a really goofy cat. She's the daughter of a stray cat who was deaf, 
uh, she came in and we got her spayed and she had her baby, well, she had her babies and we got her spayed and she just disappeared again. And this one disappears every once in a while. We believe she might be going to visit her mom over, there's a barn just behind that house right there. Well, not just behind it, but it's only about two blocks away to the farm right there. So we believe that this one, Maisie, is heading over there to uh, fight with the other cats and hang out with her mom and all that fun stuff. I was collecting seed right there and playing with Izzy with her ball and the guy across the hollow, he owns that farm over there, he has a shooting range down the hill down here. He shot his 50 cal a couple times and Izzy disappeared. I'm guessing she's in the greenhouse. There she is. You need to go in, honey? I know. Scary. Here you go, sweetheart. I know. Shooting guns and everything. Cat's not afraid of guns. Back to the ducks. When we first got Izzy, she was a little pup, we got four runner ducks and they were going to be kind of like practice for her to herd. We had a pool right here. We brought the runner ducks home. Natalie and I went to go get these about 40 miles away. We picked them up, got them home. We had a pool right here. Put them in the pool, they were swimming. We introduced, or Natalie introduced Izzy to them right away. Izzy chased them off into the woods and they were gone. Um, I can't remember if one stayed back or if Natalie caught one right away, but we ended up with Eve. And then Adam, there was a male and a female we ended up with. At first we had one and then the male came back so we had Adam and Eve for about a half a year, and then the dog chased Adam away at one point, and Adam never came back. So then we had Eve all of last winter, and towards the end of winter, she got stepped on by Blue, the horse, and just smashed the heck out of her leg. We fixed that. She lived in the uh, breezeway for, I don't know, a couple weeks. And then we had her out in the greenhouse so she could walk around. And it was a little bit warmer, but still not too warm for her. She had her, her winter coat on. She healed up fine. And then she was living over there by the horses again. Then, in the springtime, the girls were at Tractor Supply, and they have all those water tanks full of fowl. They have turkeys and whatnot. And they had the ruined ducks, and they picked up four of them. So we raised those in the house. There's videos on that. And then released them to Eve, and Eve kind of became their mommy. So we had five ducks for the entire summer. Then, most recently, one of the ruined ducks, and now we believe they were, they were in the wrong tank or whatever, that they were just mallards because ruined ducks aren't supposed to be able to fly, and these flew just fine. So one of those ducks, one of the mallards, got kicked by a horse or something like that. Natalie said she's seen it, um, but we couldn't find an injury, but it had like a broken leg. So we put a bandage on the duck's leg and then put it in the hay mow to heal. 
And then it was just a few days or maybe a week later, we found Eve dead right over here. And you could see like a trail of feathers leading to her body. And she had a arc shaped print in poop on her chest. So it looks like she got kicked by one of the horses. And that would only happen if she like pecked at their leg or something. We do have a young horse here and they're kind of skittish like that. And it was a small print. So I believe Frankie kicked her. Can't say for sure, but that's what the evidence looks like. So now Eve's dead and we have the duck recuperating in here. And we have two male ducks that are still loose. So within a day, the male ducks flew south for the winter. So now we had just this single duck recuperating in here. So we figured we should let her out. Okay, I was interrupted by the mailman. So we let the duck out that was in here. She was walking with a limp, but she was getting around pretty good. And she was just relaxing and letting it heal where needed. But she, now she's all alone. The males took off. So she hung around for roughly a week. It might have been a little longer than that. And then she just took off as well. So we are down to zero ducks. And I hope we don't get ducks again. We do have a duck house, but it's not going to get used this winter. We should probably get it out of there or something's going to start living in there. So that's the animal update. Oh, we have a, a cat that had a stroke this year as well. He's doing fine. He's just kind of crooked. So that'll wrap up the animal updates. I'm sure there's going to be more to come real soon. So if you want to see that stuff, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.